Welcome to the Podcast Profits Unleashed podcast on Mintwave Radio and all podcast platforms. If you're a coach, consultant, therapist or healer with an online program and would like to find out how to grow your business whilst having fun podcasting, go to podcastprofitsunleashed.com forward slash free. Let's dive into today's episode. Hello, welcome to the show. It's Cam Roberts here. And today I'm going to be talking about how to start a podcast and why you should. In fact, I'm going to give you three good reasons why you should launch a podcast this year, especially if you're a coach, consultant, therapist. In fact, any kind of expert, especially if you're selling high ticket coaching programs. Podcasting is a fun way. And rather than viewing it as extra work, what I'm going to share with you is actually, it's going to give you back your time while still scaling your business and actually having fun. My podcast has been going three years. I've had the most fun doing this. But for full transparency, when I set it up, I didn't set it up with the end in mind. In fact, I fell into it. I had an online summit back in 2020. I was offered a radio show on the back of that. And then I launched a podcast six months later because a radio show really was quite limited if people missed it live. Now, I just figured that I'll keep doing it because I was enjoying doing it and I'll figure it out as I go. Now, the problem with doing it in that way is that there was no strategy because so many of the coaches were struggling to get sales. I was thinking, well, I can help you with that, with organic marketing methods on social media, because that's what we were doing. Sales training, because I came from selling high ticket affiliate programs online. I was being spread too thin. I was very busy being busy. And although it got me to a certain position, I was exhausted. Really, I was very close to burnout. At the beginning of last year, I decided to go all in with podcasting. I increased my show from one to three 60-minute shows. So you can imagine all the post-production, all the back-end work was incredible. And I don't know about you, but using social media as a tool to drive your business, you know, even if it starts to work, you'll find that you're really addicted to being on your phone. I couldn't deal with notifications. I was having Trello boards to try and organize who I'd been speaking to in the DMs. And I was having a ton of discovery calls with people who really weren't a good fit for anything that I'm offering. So what I found is once we simplified things and made it crystal clear as to what we do as a business and had it in full alignment with our end goal, everything became a lot, lot easier. And I don't want to be on social media all day long. And quite frankly, I can't keep up with notifications. Now, the problem with social media is that we're all scrolling, aren't we? If you're anything like me, I'm just scrolling through posts. I might see posts from fellow coaches and I want to support them. So, you know, I'll add a comment or add a love or a like. But am I then interested in what they're selling? Maybe not. The problem is, is that everyone's almost fighting for attention on social media and then get all caught up in, are they getting enough engagement? Well, it's not about getting attention. It's more about holding attention. And the beauty of having a podcast is that you get to hold the attention of the right People. Now, I'm not saying we don't use social media because we do, but it's not our primary source for driving leads and sales into our business. I've interviewed the most amazing people on these podcasts, all doing incredible things within their communities, all serving people in different ways with different tools in their toolbox. And it's a safe space. Nobody knows that they're listening to your podcast. I don't know whether you've noticed that on social media, quite often, you know, you post a funny picture or 
a video of a cat and you'll get loads of likes and comments. And then you post something about your business and then absolutely nothing. But then if you look at it from their point of view, even if they liked a post, other people can see that they've liked it. Especially if you're a coach helping people through specific things, they might not want other people to know that they even need help. So the beauty of a podcast is that it's private. People are going to be listening who want to listen to what you have to say. So by growing your audience using podcasting, you're going to be attracting the right people for you and your business. Also, we have no control over social media. People can put so much effort and energy building Facebook groups. Facebook changed the algorithm and then, you know, it's just not working and they're not getting an ROI. Just like the only things that you will own is your website, your podcast channel and your email list. Those are the most important things that you want to focus on to really grow your business because that's what you have control over. So although there's a little bit more to it than speaking into a mic, the fact is you don't really need that much equipment. Yes, you need a good quality mic. Don't even have to do video if you don't want to. So for some people, if they're a little bit more introverted, it's a safer way to do things. But you can do video too. And then the thing is, you can just use that one piece of content for all of your social media marketing. It can be used in the written format. It can be used in a video format, audio format. It can be broken down into short form videos. There is so much you can do from one single podcast episode. So you don't have to come up with all these different ways of posting, creating curiosity posts, value posts, engagement posts, none of that. You can just simply drive people to your podcast episodes. And then from that, you're going to give them something of value to get them onto your list so that you can continue to nurture the relationship so that you can bring them into your world and eventually sell them something that's the right fit for them when the time is right. There's no rejection because you don't know who is listening. You're never going to know who is listening to your podcast. In fact, if you're listening right now, reach out to me if you want to get a shout out. So one piece of content can go out on all the podcast platforms, of which there are many. So the number one reason, I suppose, is that well, podcasts are growing. In fact, it was predicted as being a $4 billion industry this year. So the time is now to jump on. Now, secondly, the beauty of having a podcast is that you are able to show up as your authentic self and serve. Now, the old way of working, which is what I was doing, having so many discovery calls or and then leading them into a sales call. And the problem with doing it like this is that somebody jumps on the call in a state of fear, or they might be slightly anxious because they don't want to be sold to. And it's your job to move them from a state of fear to a feeling of certainty that you have the solution to their problem. And they're only going to buy when they are certain that you have the solution to, the, to their problem. But it's very difficult to do that in a short call, even if you're an experienced salesperson. So the problem with running so many sales calls is you don't know yet if they're the right fit for you. And quite frankly, they can be quite draining. Whereas if you use your podcast to do a lot of the work for you before you get on the call with a prospective client, it's going to be a lot easier. So the way I see it is with your podcast, this can be used to move somebody from a state of fear. Well, they're not in a state of fear because they're listening to it in the privacy of their own home or their own car or the gym. They're just listening. And you have the ability to move that person first into neutral through your solo episodes, through putting yourself up there as the expert in your field without trying to sell anything. And then when the time is right, if you have demonstrated throughout your podcast episodes 
how you can help people, they're more likely to come into your world. Then you can get them on a call and it's more of an onboarding call as opposed to a pushy sales call. So what it does for you, it does the heavy lifting for you. And of course, it's fun because look, the buyer doesn't care what you think right? They really don't. They care about themselves. When they're coming into a call, remember that the buyer or the potential buyer is going to come in with their own agenda. The buying decision is what's in it for them. Now, your job on a sales call is to ask them lots of questions, lots of curious questions, open questions, never loaded questions, because when people are feeling that they're being loaded upon, they're going to pull away from you. And that's going to sort of break rapport, which really is, I suppose, the most important thing in sales. You've got to remember, why do people buy? You know, what is the number one reason they buy? What's the number one reason why people buy anything? Well, scientific research has shown pretty clearly that, and, and it has been tested, that people buy only when they are confident that they're buying the right thing for them. They need to be more confident than fearful. They need buying confidence. So once they come into the call, they might be in a state of fear, slightly anxious that they don't want to be sold to. And to get them to having complete buying confidence, then you've got to take them through the process. And you can do this through lots of questions. But if you're doing this one-to-one, it is very, very draining. And what a lot of people do tend to just talk about themselves and how amazing their program is, trying to motivate them to get them to buy in confidence. And actually, it increases more fear. You're a salesperson. You're a liar. (laughs) So when people come into the call, you know, they might be in a slight state of discomfort. And there's two things I want you to understand because in the middle of being in fear or having buying confidence is a state of neutrality. And what podcasting does is move people to neutrality because your podcast, you're not trying to sell anything. So if you're trying to do this on a call, you might be trying to move them too fast, which will actually kick in more fear. Because if people feel pressured in a sale or pressured in life, you know, it's like when you're sitting at a red light and that thing turns green and somebody honks the horn right behind you. You're not really thinking, oh, thank you for letting me know that I'm one millisecond beyond the expiration date to move forwards. No, you're not. When somebody does that, your fear kicks up and you're now upset with the person behind you, right? That's the seller. Because if they're trying to coerce you to buy, to move through life, uh, they're trying to move you too fast through that process, they're going to actually kick more fear in. Whereas if you'd let them sit there for a second at the traffic lights, maybe two seconds, three seconds, and then gently tap the horn, they're not going to feel the same anxiety. You don't feel the same pain because you were allowed to go to neutrality first. And this is what your podcasts do, because you're not trying to sell. Whereas your podcast can build upon the next one, because look, a body in motion stays in motion, right? That's a physics thing. So because they came in to listening to your podcast, and they weren't in a state of fear anyway, your podcast episode builds upon the next one, you're moving them to neutrality. And the more you teach, the more you show up, the more you demonstrate how you can help them, you're going to move them towards having buying confidence. And that's when they're going to come into your world. And so you can do this throughout your solo episodes, but also interviewing previous clients, other experts in your niche, and all the way through, you're just building on the net. You get to show up, as your authentic self, you build on the no like, and trust. It's just a win-win. You're showing up to serve who you want to serve. And those who are listening, if it's the right thing for them at that time, they're going to come to you. That is attraction marketing. Now, thirdly, the stats are showing that people trust podcasters 
over any other medium. I know number two is blogs and number three is video. Now, why do you think that is? Now, the way I see it, especially right now with the emergence of AI, anybody can create posts on social media using AI. Anybody can even create courses written by AI. It doesn't necessarily mean that person has the knowledge, skills, experience to help you because it's all been written by AI. So the way I see it, having a podcast allows you, as I said, to show up as your authentic self and and you can build on that know, like, and trust without AI being involved. I mean, who knows? I mean, it may come where some podcasters, it might not even be their voice. It might be an AI generated voice in the future, but we're not there yet. So how do you start? Yes, okay, you can keep it very, very simple. You don't have to do video. All you need is a good mic, maybe headphones, and just simply get started. What I would say is 80% of it is just committing to show up. As I said, we didn't have a strategy back in the beginning. Yeah, I'm three years in. Now we have our strategy. It's everything's working seamlessly. But you don't have to take three years. So I'm not sure what holds people back from actually launching a podcast. I think overwhelm sets in because they feel that there's so much to do. However, when you have the formula and you have a specific strategy, it doesn't have to be like that. Plus, I know for me personally, it was, well, who wants, who's going to listen? Who wants to listen to me? You know, the kind of imposter syndrome thoughts that we all have. I certainly had, well, I'm still working through them, but when you build it with the end in mind, so it is an alignment with your website, with your giveaway, with your signature program, it will be crystal clear to the listeners exactly what you do. And of course, it's evergreen. And once you set it up, it will save you time because like I said, you can just use that one piece of content for absolutely everything. So if you want to get back your time while still growing your business and actually have fun and meet some incredible people along the way, then why not get started this year? We're running implementation days because you can get all the knowledge you need to start a podcast from a book, from scrolling through YouTube videos, but knowledge by itself is just not enough. It's are you going to implement what you've learned? So what we're doing is we're running implementation days. We're just taking all the objections out of the equation. In fact, for coaches who want to launch a podcast, I will actually interview you, give you an opportunity to showcase your business using our formula. We will have it here on this podcast and it can also be used as your first podcast. So once we record that, we will professionally edit it. And on the implementation day, we will actually set up your podcast channel. You'll have one ready to publish so you can submit it on all platforms. We'll go through on the day. This is over three hours. We'll be mapping out three months worth of show. So you're crystal clear on what your episodes are going to be about, who you're going to invite as guests. We're going to go through your growth strategy, how to actually grow your podcast using other people's audiences, everything you need to actually design, create, launch and grow your own podcast. We're going to go through in one day. So if you'd like to find out more, you can simply go to podcastprofitsunleashed.com forward slash implementation, because it's all about taking action. It doesn't have to be that difficult. So I will be back next week with a guest. And the following week, I'll be talking about how to structure your podcast to attract or even create your ideal client. Bye for now. Thank you for listening to today's episode on the Podcast Profits Unleashed podcast. If you're a coach, consultant, therapist, or healer who would like to drive sales whilst having fun podcasting, head over to podcastprofitsunleashed.com forward slash free and find out how you can turn your podcast into a sales machine. We'll see you on the next episode.